Welcome to Siena Chalk Talk. Hi, I'm John Hawkins from Siena. And today, I'll be talking about Distributed Network Function Virtualization, or DNFV. Let's start by talking about NFV in general. NFV is a technology that allows us to take what are currently physical, literal devices, or appliances, used for any number of functions in the network and virtualize them using software and cloud-based techniques. Let's use an example to illustrate. Imagine a branch office of a large enterprise, say a bank or a financial institution. It needs high-speed connectivity to a data center, a headquarters, the internet, and that connection provides everything from access to critical business information to email and web surfing. It's the lifeline of the branch. Today, the enterprise IT department would typically deploy three separate platforms to accomplish all of this. Three appliances, each with its own hardware cost, its own management interface, its own specialized expert on staff to set it up, maintain it over time, apply upgrades, debug when things go wrong, and optimize for the best overall performance. It's all quite costly, error-prone, and complex. And of course, this probably isn't the only branch, so the costs just go up with the size and continued growth of the enterprise. In an NFV model, all three of those functions could be hosted in a single compute hardware platform as software applications. This saves not only on the cost of the hardware, but the space, the power consumption of all of those appliances. It allows quicker deployment of the functions since they can be installed and managed over the network itself. It also lends itself to better automation and remote management, which allows the service provider to bundle those functions with the connectivity that they already sell to the enterprise. Our branch office sample scenario here is a classic example of distributed NFV. That's the D in DNFV. As we said, those network functions reside at the branch office or at the customer premise. But since these are software functions, in reality, they can reside anywhere, including in a centralized data center or central office. And there are advantages to doing that. More resources can be shared among more end users. And the more you centralize the functions, the more you can share those costs among those users. But certain functions, like the ones in our example, need to be at the very edge of the network, like security functions, the end-to-end -end path optimization functions, such as software-defined WAN functions. In reality, you'll probably deploy a mix of centralized and distributed functions in what we call a hybrid NFV model. In addition to the virtual network functions, or VNFs, and the compute server itself, we will need several key components to successfully deploy the DNFV model. Of course, the server requires an operating system, including a hypervisor function, whose job it is to allocate the processor, storage, memory capacity of the server to the various VNFs. We will need a virtual switch to perform data forwarding functions and manage the connectivity service itself basically how the actual packets flow through the switch. We'll also need a virtual infrastructure manager, or VIM, to deploy and manage the health of the VNFs themselves. These are the key functions that are part of Sienna's DNFV infrastructure software. And to pull the end-to-end -end service together, we will need an orchestrator to manage things like software licenses, provisioning and automation tasks, usage reporting, and other high-level orchestration functions for the end-to-end -end service to work holistically. That's where Sienna's Blue Planet NFV orchestration management system fits in. As hundreds and thousands of VNFs get deployed network-wide. Finally, network operators want to see options. Not only options for the VNFs, but options for each element of the stack we just described. So an open architecture allowing for mixing and matching a number of suppliers is critical and improves the security of the supply chain. So let's review the benefits we see in DNFV. 
It leads to new sources of revenue for the service provider who can now offer virtualized network functions over and above your basic connectivity services. It results in time to market, meaning the service provider gets to revenue faster and the end user gets a valuable service in moments instead of months. It leads to streamlined operations, avoiding costs through automation of repetitive and error-prone tasks. And with Sienna's DNSD infrastructure software, all the required components are there for a low overhead, high-performance software stack that can be mixed and matched with other vendor products, resulting in a best-in-class solution for both provider and end user.